And a very pleasant good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Red Bay and Athens basketball this afternoon. Of course, we've got the Red Bay Tigers in Athens coming up next. And if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, we really appreciate you for being with us here on your hometown station today. Once again, we're at the Keith Davis Memorial Tournament. Uh, formerly, I guess, known as the Lauderdale County Christmas Tournament, and, of course, uh, named in memory uh, the late... Uh, Mr. Keith Davis, who was uh, instrumental in this tournament over many, many years. And, of course, uh, uh, Keith has passed on, and they named this tournament in his memory. And uh, I know he would be very, very proud to have his name uh, on this uh, tournament here at Lauderdale County High School. I'm Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay here, and we're live here today. we got, of course, Denise back in Control Center. And, of course, we're sending it back on the cell. We told you all the issues we had uh, with some – data signals inside this gym and in this area and of course still uh, experiencing some of that today so we're just going to go ahead and send it back on the cell as we did ended up having to do yesterday we'll check in with Denise and make sure we got a good signal back in there on the air well here in a second as soon as we hear from her that'll make us feel a little bit better but we'll tell you that the Red Bay Tigers got a very tough task after coming off a big win over Montevallo last night and of course they're taking on a Athens ball club which had a big victory over the uh, Hale of a Lady Lions last night. Belmont had a big win, uh, minus uh, one of their players, but uh, had a big win over Rogers the Pirates last night. And they'll be taking on a very tough uh, ball club from Loretta, Tennessee. We want to welcome everybody into our broadcast here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We're on, of course, WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're also on the Internet at WRMGradio.com. Today's game brought to you by Johnny Weatherford at Red Bay Reynolds. Also, Rayburn Massey, of course, your Franklin County Commissioner. Also, Bay Tree Gift Company right next to uh, WRMG and also 4th Street Grill. Denisa says she's got us and we're sounding good. Also, today's game brought to you by Bay Diesel, Chris and Valerie Marr. By Red Bay Carpets, Mr. Matt Duncan out on the Golden Road. Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. We're about a minute away from getting this another way. Miller's Affordable Furniture, Jason and Terry Miller over in Russellville, Alabama. And, of course, they do deliver to the Red Bay Belmont area. Also, Predator Pest Control on our broadcast here today. That is, of course, Clay and Ted Weatherford. And, of course, Mr. Eddie Deaton. Eddie works that Red Bay area most of the time. And he can be reached at 662-315-2841. 2841. I also want to thank Tri-State Insurance. Uh, of course, that's uh, Brenda Purser, Kim Wells, Caleb Wells, Mike Moore. Your Red Bay number there is 356-4804. I also want to thank Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry making the game possible today. 356-8899. And if you're out there joining us on the broadcast, uh, we got the Athens team. Randall, put that on Athens down there. They warm it up. I think we already probably missed it because he's putting them through some drills just before. And... Uh, of course, the uh, Athens Ball Club facing the Red Bay Tigers here today. Eddie Murphy, Dwayne Shoulders, DeShonda Peoples, and Garland Murphy make out the coaching staff. Superintendent is Trey Holiday, And, of course, your coach, Donnie Roberts, and Mr. Kenny Sparks make out that Red Bay as far as the principal and the uh, coach and, of course, superintendent, uh, of course, is going to be changing here at the first of the year. I want to congratulate Mr. Greg Hamilton and I uh, want to say how much we appreciate uh, Mr. Gary Williams and the job he's done over the years as far as uh, being nice to us. And, uh, of course, Mr. Gary, of course, uh, retiring, I guess, and I uh, want to wish him well as well. Don't forget you can go to redbaysports.com and uh, if you, uh, it's going to be a, have a running total on there where you can actually keep up with the scores and everything, but if you'd like to do that, and uh, that's redbaysports.com. We're going to have a scoreboard there on the Red Bay and the Belmont game as well. Appreciate uh, everybody joining us, and we're about ready to get this another way. The tip is controlled uh, by the Athens Ball Club. Athens, of course, coming in here. Their mascot, of course, uh, I believe Randall said is the Eagles. Is that correct? We're just underway. Athens will take a long shot in the corner. It's up and no good. Red Bay will get a rebound. Number 23 with a rebound for the Tigers is, of course, Allie Kennedy. Kennedy bring it down. Over to Morgan Pierce. Wide open under the basket is Carly. Carly is up and up and good. That's uh, Carly Lindley with the basket. They didn't get back, and the Tigers burn them. 
after they was pressing the Tigers pretty well. Jack Ivy Randall ends here, 7.23 to go. Just underway, they try to lob it inside. The Tigers almost had a steal. That ball's out of bounds. Athens trying to take it in. They get it in at number 12. Her shot is good on the inbounds. That's Japera Harris uh, getting the basket. And we have got a tie ball game. Red Bay will bring it down. Kennedy's going to have her hands full as they double team her bringing it down. The Tigers get it across the timeline to Morgan Pierce. Now back out in the circle. Now back to Morgan on the left wing to Carly Lindley. Carly over here on the left side. Open will not take the shot. Goes to number 14, Madden, on the left wing. Now to the right side, Kennedy. Kennedy penetrates a little bit, brings it back out. Morgan Pierce, now to Lindley. Lindley on the left side. They're doing a really, really good job trying to stay on Darby Madden. Gardner way out away from the basket, and then they knock it out of bounds. Red Bay will still have it. Something very noticeable here early uh, with this ball club from uh, Athens if or defense. We'll see if they can hold that pace up. 6.30 to go. Red Bay Tigers all tied up with Athens here in the second day of uh, this uh, Keith Davis Memorial. Kennedy gets away, drives in, puts it up off the glass, no good. Darby Madden with a rebound. Darby goes right back up her shot. He's blocked, and Athens on an outlet pass. We'll get a layup on the other end of the court. Athens is taking a 4-2 lead, and that was made there by number five, and that is Bridgeforth, Ja'Kayla Bridgeforth. So the Tigers will take it in, facing full court pressure. Man to man. Lindley with the ball. She'll get it across the timeline. Lindley can take it down to about 15 feet of the way of the basket. She'll back it out and go to Morgan. Morgan's out at the top of the key area. Hands off to Kennedy. Four to two the score. Red Bay Tigers trailing by two to Athens. Red Bay taking it in. Darby Madden fakes inside the lane. Pull up shot. It's up and no good. Rebound, it gets out of bounds. It'll belong to the Red Bay Tigers right down below. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay here. Denisa back at Control Center. Hope you enjoy our broadcast here on the Ivey Broadcasting Company. We've got Belmont and Loretta, Tennessee later tonight. But this particular broadcast you're listening and watching to right now is, of course, this uh, 3 o'clock start. Shot up by Kennedy. No good. The rebound by Morgan. Morgan tried to put it back up. She's fouled. She'll go to the line. to shoot. So Morgan Pierce will go to the line. And we'll shoot two free throws for the Red Bay Tigers. That foul against number three, Tyona Moore. And the free throw is up and good. She makes them both, by the way. So Morgan Pierce makes the first one and makes the second one. That'd make it four to four. 5.30 to go, clock running. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here. There's a long three-point shot right side. No good. Rebound out of bounds. It's coming to the Red Bay Tigers. Coach Donnie Roberts and the Red Bay Tigers. Taking on Athens. We're all tied up. Athens in the black uniforms. Red Bay in their white today. Here's Morgan, down to Carly Lindley. Carly drives down to the baseline, brings that ball right back out to Morgan Pierce, to Kennedy. Kennedy out near midcourt, goes right back to Carly Lindley, to Morgan Pierce. Morgan's open for the three in the corner. It's up, no good. Rebound goes to number 22. That's Olivia Patton for the Athens Eagles. Athens trying to take it down low. They get open. They put a shot up. It's no good. Rebound in there by Darby Madden. Darby had the good inside position to get that rebound. Off to Kennedy. She's double teamed. She'll come back to Darby, and Darby will ring it down. Darby gets it across the timeline, hands it off to Morgan, down to Lindley. Lindley on the side over here will not take the shot. She's open. Tigers try to go back to Kennedy from Morgan. It's stolen away and going for the layup. She missed it. <coughs> got her own rebound. We got a whistle. And looks like a foul against the Tigers. Athens getting ready to send in four new players. That foul against Kennedy, by the way, number 23, her first foul for the Red Bay. And going to the line to shoot two is number three. That's Tyona 
Moore, Tiona Moore, T-I-O-N-N-A. She makes her first one. She'll have another one. Athens is taking a 5-4 to four lead with 4.28 to go. Next shot is up. It is no good. Rebound goes to the Red Bay Tigers. Morgan Pierce got the rebound out of Carly Humphreys. Humphreys to the baseline, drives all the way in, puts it up no good. Kennedy, or rather Lindley with the backside rebound to Morgan. Morgan shoots a three, left wing, it's up and good. Good job of Morgan Pierce. Morgan with five points in the ball game. And the Tigers lead seven to five over Athens. Seven to five, Tigers on top, long shot, three-pointer up and no good by Athens, but Athens gets her own rebound. This is number 24 who's checked in the ball game. Her shot up no good. Kennedy with the rebound. Atlet pass to Carly Humphreys. Humphreys on a double team there, and the layup by the Tigers, no good by Lindley. And we're going to have a rebound by Carly Humphreys, and Humphreys is going to be fouled. Humphreys tried to go back up with it. She's fouled. She'll go. I don't think that she was actually shooting, so the Tigers will take it in underneath their own basket. Tigers had a little two-on-one, just couldn't get it to fall. Tigers go into Madden in the corner. Belmont and, of course, Loretta, Tennessee play at 6 o'clock tonight. We'll have that game right here. There's another steal as they tried to go to Kennedy, stolen away by number 24. She missed the layup, got a rebound, and put it back good. That's Corey Vance. Number 24 getting that one to tie the ball game up. So the Tigers have turned it over a couple of times on steals. Lindley on the baseline back to Morgan Pierce. They're trying to anything they can do to deny the ball to Darby Madden and also to Allie Kennedy. Lindley will shoot the three in the corner. It's up. It's no good. Rebound goes to number 20. She is a ninth grader. That's uh, Elena Taylor uh, for the Athens Ball Club. And we got a whistle and a foul. <coughs> that foul is going to go against Athens. Uh, number 52, uh, Stacia Bentford got that foul, so Red Bay will take it in. Here's Lindley with the basketball. Lindley down to the baseline. Kicks it back to Morgan Pierce, now back to Lindley. Lindley's open on the baseline, will not take it. Goes to Darby, who will kick it right back out. 7-7, seven to seven her score, 245 on the clock. Kennedy drives in traffic and is going to be fouled. Red Bay will inbound it underneath their own basket. Darby Madden in the corner will shoot a shot. It's up and no good. Rebound comes off long. Athens has got it. Number 10 got that rebound. That was Barbara Anderson that got it. Athens inside the lane. Shot up no good. Missed in there by Woods. Rebound goes to the Tigers. And Allie Kennedy will bring it down. Red Bay into Darby. Darby goes left, now back to the right, and puts it up off the glass. Good, good job of Darby Madden. A much-needed basket, her first one today for the Red Bay Tigers, and Red Bay's back on top, 9-7. to seven. Athens on the baseline, about 15 feet, lobs it inside. The shot up off the glass, good, by number 34, Alexis Wood. So that'll tie the game up. Red Bay will bring it down. Lindley with the ball on the left wing. Waits on Morgan. Morgan back out near midcourt. <coughs> Gets back to Kennedy. Kennedy sees a little opening, penetrates in a little bit, has the ball knocked out of her hands, but it's picked up by Carly Humphreys. Humphreys back to Darby Madden in the corner. Darby drives a little bit, now kicks it back to Kennedy. Kennedy penetrates to the free throw line, stops, jump shot up. It's going to be short and out of bounds. All tied up nine to nine. And Red Bay with the basketball, or rather Athens with the basketball. Tigers almost got a steal. Morgan Pierce knocking it out of bounds. Good defense there by the Tigers. Appreciate 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. Lori and Brent Column at 356-2226. For all your catering needs or just a great meal every day with the exception of Monday, it's 4th Street Grill in Red Bay out there on the Golden Road. Also, don't forget Kim Lindsay. 
does all your monograms and screen printing. 256-668-0142. Or you can get her on Facebook, Athens, a shot up no good. Rebound by the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers bringing it down with 45 seconds to go. All tied up nine to nine. Kennedy on the right wing, and Kennedy's going to be held by number 24. And number 24 there is uh, Corey Vance. So Red Bay will play at side court. That's five team fouls against Athens, only one against the Tigers. Tigers have not been fouling very much. I don't notice late in the game last night, the other team had eight fouls. We only had one. That kind of situation over against Newside. You know, we had to foul in a hurry to try to get them even on the line. So the Tigers not a very much of a fouling team here in the games that I've just happened to notice. Right now, Kennedy sees a little opening, hands it off to Morgan. Morgan coming from the backside, lays it up good. Morgan Pierce with her seventh point of the ball game, 11-9, Red Bay Tigers. Athens driving in, misses a shot, and we've got a whistle and a foul on the rebound. <clears throat> 11 to nine. We have got the Red Bay Tigers. Two seconds to go, and the shot up by Athens at the buzzer is going to be good by number five. So good by number five. That is Bridge Fourth, and that was Kennedy's second foul. By the way, we got a break in the action. I'm Jack Ivy live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. We're the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Back to action, and Kennedy with a basket to start the second quarter up and good, and here we head to the other end of the floor. Athens with the ball, shot no good. Red Bay on top by a score of 13-11. 13-11, Red Bay Tigers are on top. Athens kicking out in the corner. They'll shoot a long shot up and good. It is a two-point shot that'll make it 13-13. Big number 34 got that basket. That is Woods. Red Bay Tigers get it across the timeline to offer as she can't handle the pass and it's out of bounds. Reagan Kirkendall will check into the ball game. Carly Humphreys will check out for the Red Bay Tigers. All tied up 13 to 13, 7 12 to go. Appreciate Triple D's bucket service. Barney, Brandon, and Dustin Dick will try their best to meet all your high reach needs, whether trimming or removing a tree or maybe debris removal. They can do it all at 662-279-1500. And also that great tasting Carl Lewis sausage available at Swamp John's making the game possible. Athens on the pass to the left side. Loses that ball out of bounds and the Red Bay Tigers will get it back. All tied up 13 to 13. Carly Offries. Still in there, that was uh, Lindley that checked out of the ball game instead. I told you wrong there, 13 to 13. Six minutes and 45 seconds to go. Kennedy, great move to the basket, puts it up good. So Kennedy 
heating it up a little bit with a couple of quick baskets. Her fourth point of the ball game. It's 15 to 13. The Red Bay Tigers have got a two point lead. 15 to 13. Shot up no good by Athens, but he gets the own rebound. Number 34, Woods. In the corner, we'll kick it out. Number 12, that's uh, Harris. Harris is shot up good. And Athens has tied this game up 15 to 15. Red Bay across the timeline with Darby Madden. Darby right side to Humphreys. Humphreys right back to Darby. Darby on the right elbow. Turn, spins, kicks it back out to Morgan. Morgan's hot today. Shot up is going to be short. And the rebound saved in. And who's going to end up with it? Red Bay Tigers are going to end up with a great hustle there by Reagan Kirkendall to make that happen. A lot of hustle out on the floor by the Red Bay Tigers. Kennedy's got it. Sitting open into the basket. Goes all the way and has her shot blocked from behind, out of bounds. But Red Bay will still have it. Jack Ivey, Randall Lins here. Thanks to the Dr. Fabianchi at the Medical Clinic of Red Bay by Engel Farms. Mr. Mike Engel at 256 7675 Red Bay into Darby. Darby shot a little bit long out of bounds, and it's going to go to the Athens Eagles. Stadium pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale, and don't forget for all your poultry house cleanouts and litter spreading needs, it's Engel Farms, Mr. Mike Engel. 15 to 15 with 5.25 to go. Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay here at the Keith Davis Memorial Tournament, Lauderdale County High School. The shot up, Athens, no good. Red Bay with a rebound. Darby Madden pulling that one down. And the Tigers will bring it down. If you're enjoying the game today, we really appreciate you. We'd love to hear from you. 662-423-7602. Just send us a text to let us know you're out there. 662-423-7602. Morgan Pierce over in the corner. She's had the hot hand today for the Tigers. Uh, got some scoring out of her early. Matter of fact, she's got seven points. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Athens. Athens pushing that ball up the floor. Appreciate all these uh, folks that are enjoying the game. Great job by Carly Humphrey. She had a great game yesterday. Got a steal, she'll take it coast to coast. Scores the basket and she is fouled. That's the most aggressive play I've seen Carly have all year. She got that steal down there. Took that ball coast to coast, somebody right on her hip, riding her all the way and she not only completed the play, she made the basket and uh, also got the foul as you go to the line to shoot. She'll try to put the Tigers up by another point. It's up and no good, but a great play, Carly, by the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay leads 17 to 15. Long three-point shot in the corner by Athens. They take the lead, 18-17. Number 20 knocking that one down. That's Elena Taylor. Red Bay and the ball knocked, and we have got substitutions checking in. Athens bringing in. <clears throat> about four new players at a time. Matter of fact, they brought in five new ones right then. 18 to 17 with 420 to go. We'll see if depth is going to be an issue before this one's over. Carly Arfrey's on the right wing. Morgan Pierce back to the corner now. Reagan Kirkendall. Reagan inside of Darby. Darby got that first little step, puts it up no good. She's foul. And she'll go to the line to shoot. Eighteen to seventeen, Athens leading, but Darby with a chance to uh, tie this game up or maybe put the Tigers back ahead. We apologize. We've had uh, you know issues here with a data signal as far as sales and all that stuff, but uh, we always figure out a way to get this broadcast back to you. Thanks to Denise back in Control Center handling those controls back there and. And we have got a missed shot by Athens and a foul against Athens on the rebound. We're going to get that ball back and a foul. And Red Bay might be shooting one and one. And Red Bay will be shooting one and one. Red Bay is taking a one point lead, 19 to 18, with three minutes and 53 seconds to go. We got, of course, uh, uh, Miss Janet Roberts. Jack, so glad you're able to talk. Doing a great job. Go Tigers. This whole cold and sinuses is. Not uh, being too nice to me today, but uh, or yesterday or the day before. But uh, also uh, uh, the Faulkners back there say we're sounding great. Appreciate you 
uh, the Faulkner crew. Miss Evelyn Williams checking in with us. We appreciate you. And uh, if you'd like to let us know you're listening, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Reagan Kirkendall shooting free throws for the Red Bay Tigers. Got you good news while I was telling you that about the phone calls. Reagan makes both free throws to put us up 21 to 18. And Athens quickly to the other end of the floor, taking it down low. And the shot is up good and another foul against the Tigers. This time they're going to get Reagan Kirkendall with that foul. So Athens, number 10, who got the basket, Barbara Anderson, makes it. And she's going to go to the line to try to tie this game up 21 to 20. And her free throw is up good. Drew a lot of iron, but finally fell in. I was telling Randall is going to have to have today's game brought to you by Dayquil and Hall's cough drops and NyQuil. Of course, I'm not hitting the NyQuil here in the daytime or I probably would go to sleep on you, but uh, Red Bay with Kennedy going to try to make a move to the basket. She's going to be foul. She'll go to the line to shoot. One and one for sure. <clears throat> and that's what she's going to be shooting. It was on the floor, but it is going to be a my Schubert said we're sounding good back down in Red Bay, Alabama. Don't forget you can go to keep a running score at redbaysports.com. All right, come on, Miss Kennedy here. And the free throw by Kennedy is up and good. Kennedy will have another shot coming here. The Red Bay Tigers lead 22-21, and that free throw is up good. Red Bay leads 23 to 21 now with 3.30 to go. Athens quickly up the floor. Athens to the left side, number 10. Gets trapped in there, tries to kick it back out. Now the ball loose on the floor. Looks like Athens is going to pick it up and bring that ball back out. Vance, Vance to the right side, number 20. She had a big three a while ago. That's Taylor. Now to the left side, 10, driving in. Shot too hard, no good. And a big rebound by number 32 for the Red Bay Tigers. You know who that is, don't you? Morgan Pierce, big, big, big rebound. Morgan across the timeline. Good ball handling by Morgan. Morgan looks for help, throws that ball in the backcourt, and it was not tipped, so that's going to be an over and back. She tried to lead Alley a little bit too much on the pass, and it was an over and back against the Tigers. Make sure you tell your friends now. If You, uh, you can go on Facebook, and you can share this link on how you're listening to the game. A lot of folks still don't know that they can get it on AM 1430 and 97.9. They can get it on Channel 12 in Red Bay, Channel 97 in over in Tishomingo County. Athens throws it away. It's out of bounds. We're going to get it back. We're up by two, by the way, 23-21. You can also go to WRMGRadio.com, WRMGRadio.com. Just click on the Red Bay link. Here's Reagan. Reagan taking it all the way in. Reagan is mauled as she took it to the basket and she'll go to the line to shoot good strong move to the basket by Reagan Kirkendall today's game of course brought to you by CJ serving quality food at affordable prices open seven days a week Mr. Justin Balls your owner there got your good news Reagan's free throw is up as good she's three out of three from the line Red Bay with a three-point lead with 2.30 to go. And the next free throw by Reagan is up and good. Also, Belmont Pharmacy, Bill Donna Weatherford, and Pam Moore on a broadcast along with the Cardinal Drive-In on the Golden Road and the Red Bay Gas and Water. Long shot by Athens, no good. Kennedy with a rebound. Out to Morgan. Red Bay leading by four, 25 to 21. Humphreys across the timeline. Trapped over there, tries to make a pass, and it's stolen away. Athens going for the layup. It's up and good by number 10. Athens pressure defense is pretty tough. 25 to 23, Red Bay leading by two. Here's Athens on the defensive side. Red Bay better hurry and get it across. They do not get it across in time. It's a 10-second violation against the Red Bay Tigers. <coughs> Coach Donnie Roberts is wondering, how in the world did you count to 10 that quick? 25 to 23, Athens. Instead of us being up by four with the ball, now we're just up with two, and Athens with the basketball with a minute 43 to go. Athens working that ball around the horn to the baseline. Number 10 drives in, shot up good. Drove right by us on that baseline. 
and put it up good, and that is Anderson getting another basket for them. We get it across the timeline. It's all tied up. Carly Humphreys back out to Kennedy near the circle. Red Bay Tiger basketball is a production of the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Kennedy drives in off the glass. Good. Pretty shot there by Allie Kennedy. Two, four, six, eight points for Kennedy, 27-25. Shot up by Athens, a quick one, no good. Red Bay with a rebound and a two-point lead. Darby Madden with a rebound. Darby dribbles it all the way down across the timeline. Takes that right to Kirkendall. Randall. Kennedy. Back over to Morgan Pierce, 48 seconds to go. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here. Carly Humphreys drives into the basket, puts it up, no good, rebound. Goes to Athens, her big girl, number 34, Alexis Wood, cleaning the boards in. They drive it all the way down and turn that ball over. Good steal there by number 32 for the Red Bay Tigers. And that's Morgan Pierce getting the steal. 27 to 25, 24 seconds to go. Appreciate you, Red Bay Gas and Water Department. I told you about the Cardinal drive-in. What about Consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted LeMay? Alpha Insurance of Red Bay and also BJ's Hair Sessities with BJL Rod Walters. Red Bay drive it in, Kennedy's pass, knocked out of bounds. Red Bay will have it with 7.8 seconds to go. Appreciate Community Spirit Bank since 1908. Mr. Brad Bolton and all the staff in Red Bay, Belmont, Viner, Russellville, Alabama, and also don't forget the Redmont location. Also, Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast today along with your Edward Jones, agent Mike Jones. Fastway Car Wash out on Highway 19 along with the Deaton Funeral Home. Red Bay's got it in, Kennedy free throw line, a little running shot, good. And guess what? That buzzer is fixing the sound, and they'll not get off a shot. And we're going to go to the dressing room, leading 29 to 25 up against a very good Athens ball club. You'd be proud of the Tigers if you were able to be watching them in person. I will tell you this, that uh, we'll have this replay on, but it's going to be late, late tonight, and we'll have it on again in the morning for you as well. So uh, make sure you listen to uh, the games and also watch them on the TV replay as well. Once again, if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, appreciate the city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council, along with the Joe Holmes Oil Company. And also, don't forget Big Star of Red Bay. Also, Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York dealer. Also, Tiffin Supply, Tiffin and Appliance Company. Also, Med Express of Red Bay, Dr. William Bush, and also Nurse Practitioner Kayla Humphries. You can reach their office at 256 356 8907. Also, Dixie Diesel Service, Denise and Murray Marr. Redmond Pharmacy with J.C. Weeks and the staff. By Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic. By Swamp John's Restaurant and Catering. CBNS Bank on our broadcast. We're at halftime. Red Bay leads uh, 29 to 25. I also want to thank Sunshine Mills. Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member by the Red Bay Hospital. Also making this game possible today is Davis Ford. Gary Armstrong, who does all your Dozier backhoe work. Redmond Pharmacy by Redmont Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks. Also the Banner Tire Store with Jason Parker. Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore by Dr. Ralph Nix and his staff located behind the post office in Red Bay. The Mason Jar on Main. Don't forget Friday night is Seafood Night from 4 to 8. And of course they appreciate your business. Open Monday 8 to 8, Tuesday through Friday 8 to 2, closed on Saturday. And of course open after church on Sunday from noon to 2.30. Also don't forget the game here live we got second half coming up. Red Bay leads 29 to 25. And it's brought to you by Dr. Jim Neighbors and his staff at the Neighbors Clinic. Oh, nurse practitioner, Miss Carolyn Wilson by Franklin Electric. H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton by Grace Long Real Estate. Cash and Thermoplastics on our broadcast by your hometown, Piggly Wiggly. By Dickie Spark CPA. And also want to thank Mr. Runny Cook at Modern Woodman at 662-423-8477. Modern Woodman, touching lives, securing futures, and of course, and uh, we're talking about 662-423-8477. We got a few minutes before we can get the second half underway. We're going to uh, take a quick break, and we'll be right back to action here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Once again, your score has your Red Bay Tigers leading 29-25, to 29-25. to 25. I cannot see the uh, clock on which way it's pointing. Uh, Randall, can you see which way it's pointing? Pointing this way, so that means Athens will get the ball to start the second half. Once again, it's 29-25, to 25, Red Bay leading 
and halftime by four. Right now, it'd be a good time to send us a message and let us know if you're enjoying our game. 662-423-7602. 662-423-7602. This is the Red Bay Tiger Basketball Network. Red Bay Tigers and Athens here in a really good battle here. We'll say hello to um, Mr. Tony Grubbs and Mr. Rayburn Massey out there checking out a broadcast here today. I told you Athens is going to get that ball to start the second half. Red Bay's got a 29-25 lead. Big, both these teams still in the winning bracket. Both teams, of course, uh, had big wins yesterday. They turn it inside the lane, shot up no good. Athens with a rebound. Athens puts it up good and a foul. I guess the Red Bay Tigers. The question, will they get Lindley from behind or will we get uh, Pierce in front? First of all, the basket will count, and it's going to go, the foul is going to go against uh, Carly Lindley. She was in behind the play there. That'll make it 29-27. to 27. Jordan McKinney getting ready to check into the ball game. She'll check in for Carly Lindley. And the free throw is up. It is no good. And the ball's going to get out of bounds. And, boy, big break for Athens there. That ball went out of bounds. Last touch by the Red Bay Tigers. That basket, uh, last basket there was by Japira Harris. She didn't make her free throw. So, Athens has made it a 29-27 ball game, and they got the ball back. Red Bay Tiger basketball live brought to you by Mr. Rayburn Massey, Franklin County Commissioner. Just as I said that, the Red Bay Tigers get a big steal. 29 to 27. Tigers down the floor. Kennedy turns in the lane. Shot is up. It is no good. Rebound by Woods. She's their big girl. Long throw down the court. Boy, they get down the court in a hurry and get an easy basket. Number 22 got that one, Olivia Patton, but that one all started out from that rebound by Woods on the other end. The outlet pass, and then bam, bam, and it's a layup. We got a 29-29 ball game. They pick back up with that uh, Real good pressure defense. Tigers will shoot a three. Top of the key, no good by the Tigers' uh, Darby Madden. Ball gets out of bounds and it'll belong to Athens. Next couple of minutes, very important for the Red Bay Tigers. Athens have scored the first four points here. And, of course, they've turned their defense back up kind of the way they started the ball game. We were able to weather that early and hang with them and uh, not make any mistakes and kind of get behind or anything like that and get shook up. Right, right now, we've handled this game very well up against a very good Athens ball club. Did we figure out Athens was, what, 4A or 5A? 6A? And the shot up Athens is up and good. 31-29, to 29, they've scored six straight points. And now the Tigers turn it over. And Coach Johnny Roberts quickly gets a quick timeout, 31-29. to 29. Coach Roberts didn't waste any time when the Tigers turned that one over. They got a timeout. We're zooming on in there, Randall, so we can get a closer look at Coach Donnie Roberts and his Red Bay Tigers, as close as you can get. Coach Donnie Roberts here talking to the team. Seems to be pretty calm and collected right now as he's talking to the team on what they've got to do to uh, hang tough with this Athens ball club. Got to be able to handle this pressure first and not, not panic in any situation. And it wasn't one of them timeouts where he was eating them out uh, from the time they come off the floor. Sometimes they do need that. This time he took a, a little different approach and uh, handled it in a different way. He got a message he wanted to get across. And now the Tigers will be on defense after turning it over and the timeout. 6-12 to go, 31-29. Tony Grubb said I was going to need that nitro pill before this one's over. I don't know what a nitro pill and Dayquil and a Hall's cough trot would do together, but... Uh, that may be what happens. Athens shot no good. It's out of bounds and give it to the Red Bay Tigers. Got you good news there. Red Bay in their white uniforms. Athens, the Eagles in the black. They do in that double team. As soon as they throw it to somebody, they double team. They swarm you like everything. Tigers almost turned it over again. Kennedy's got to hurry and get it across the timeline. She does to Humphreys. Back to Morgan Pierce. Morgan on the right wing. Kennedy with the ball. And the shot is up. Tilted up, Randall. And here come the Athens ball club after the missed shot by the Red Bay Tigers. They'll drive it all the way in with a reverse layup. No good. Woods, their big girl, got the rebound, put it up, and no good. 
This time Jordan McKinney with a big rebound on the backside. Red Bay, Kennedy back out near the circle. Back to Darby. Darby down low. Shot is up by the Tigers. McKinney, it's up no good and out of bounds. And it blocked out of bounds, but the Tigers will still have it. 31 to 29 with 5.06 to go. Morgan Pierce will inbounds. Athens leading by two. Tigers get it into Kennedy. Kennedy penetrates in the lane, pulls up shot, no good. Rebound, scramble for it. Athens has got it. Athens has got us two on one. Back for the Tigers. We get back pretty good defensively. They still get a basket. Darby had them by herself. Kennedy finally got there to help out, but Athens still able to get the basket from number five. And Athens right now leads 33 to 29. We have not scored here in the third quarter, and we got a whistle and a foul. We take it down low, and the foul is going to be against Athens. We're going to shoot two free throws. And that's going to be against uh, Alexis Woods, 34, the big girl. She's got two fouls in the game. Darby Madden will go to the line. Let's see. They have scored uh, eight points here in the third quarter. We have not scored. We have now because Darby just got a free throw. Darby with five points in the ball game, three of those free throws. They're going to send in five new girls into the ball game right now. Thirty-three to thirty, the score. Come on, Darby Madden. Red Bay Tigers game brought to you by Baytree Gift Company. Your complete gift headquarters and bridal registry. That'll be pottery from Meta, Mississippi, and of course they got that Dixie Bell paint and much, much more. Next free throw by Darby is good. Make it 33-31. Tigers fix up a little half-court press themselves. A little half-court trap. Athens across the timeline, and Athens almost turned that ball over themselves. Now the ball is out of bounds, and it's going to the Red Bay Tigers. Good pressure defense by the Tigers. Tiger fans across the way putting their hands together. Regardless of what happens today, we'll be playing tomorrow. And, of course, we'll be back covering these Red Bay Tigers and Belmont Cardinals. Belmont plays Loretta, Tennessee at 6 tonight. You can listen to that game right here as well. Red Bay trailing 33-31. Tigers, Jordan McKinney. Jordan able to get it back to Kennedy. Kennedy penetrates. Now Morgan's open for the back door. It's up and good. 33 to 33. And Morgan Pierce uh, gets the basket. Morgan's had a good game today. Two, four, seven, nine points in the game. And it's all tied up 33-33. 3.41 to go. We're in the third quarter live at the Keith Davis Memorial Tournament. Taking it down low to Wood. Tigers almost stole it. They saved it back in. 42 will drive in the lane. Shot no good. Rebound put back no good. This time a rebound again by Athens no good. And a foul against the Tigers. And let's see who they give that foul against the Tigers on. We'll double check it. They're going to give it against uh, Jordan McKinney is going to be charged with a foul. Free throw is up by number 10. It's good, 34 to 33, Athens. She'll have another shot coming here. 3.26 to go, third quarter. And the next free throw is up. It's good. Athens 35. The Red Bay Tigers are 33. And the Tigers turn it over on the inbound. They'll shoot a three in the corner. It looks good. It is. Number 20 on the opposite side. She hit one earlier on the other end of the floor. And Athens has taken a 38-33 lead, and they knock it out of bounds. We still got it. <clears throat> you, you put your hands up on defense, and you're running and slapping at the ball. You get just a little tip. Next thing you know, you got your steal, and that's what's happened. Athens has been able to do that. Tigers into Darby Madden. Darby shot no good. Darby got her own rebound, tried to go back up with it. And she's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. A good, strong rebound and put back there by Darby. She was fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot. She'll be able to score, hopefully, with that old clock stop. We're down by five in a hurry. We had come back and tied it up 33-33. We've let them score five straight. Free throw by Darby is up and good. 
38-34, and the next free throw by Darby is up and good. Darby at the line has got one, two, three, four, five, six in a row. She's got eight points of the ball game. She's six out of six in the line. 38-35, they'll shoot a long three right side. It's up again, good this time, but number 22. We left her wide open over there. Tigers take it in, and there's a foul. That was Olivia Patton that got that three. And we're going to see uh, it's going to be a foul against Athens. That'll only be their third foul, I believe. Athens leads 41 to 35, and we have got a technical foul against number 10 from Athens. I don't know what in the world she did. I was looking down, and all at once I saw Darby. I'd like to do a replay of it and see. I love Trent Darby was on the, uh, I don't know where Darby put a little animation to go along with it. She makes her free throw, it's up and good. Darby was on the floor and she's okay. And she makes both free throws and Red Bay is gonna get the ball on the side. So a technical foul has been called against uh, their number 10. Red Bay's cut it to 41 to 37 with 2.44 to go. 41-37, Red Bay. Darby Madden, Darby in the lane, shot good. Darby just drove it right to the basket. 41 to 39, and the Red Bay Tigers have made it a two-point ball game. Darby, four, and they shoot a three again. This one's out front. And number 22 knocked another one down. They've made three threes in a row. They're up 44-39. Red Bay across the timeline to Offries. Offries to Jordan McKinney. Jordan, Jordan almost lost that ball. Back out to the top of the key with 2.06 to go. I feel like it's at the fourth quarter, but it's not. We still got another whole quarter, two minutes to go in the third here. So you kind of get a little antsy. 44-39, Athens by a five-point lead right now. Red Bay into Darby. Darby turns, puts it up good. Darby has heated it up, I'm telling you. And he's got time to add her points up, 44 to 41. They drop it in the lane. They kick it back. They'll shoot another three. It's up good. They hit five in a row. And it's uh, that was another different girl. That was number five that knocked that one down. So 47 to 46, and Red Bay throws it away. 125 to go. Darby's eight out of eight. She's got uh, 12 points in the game to lead the Tigers. 47 to 41, Athens with the basketball. Athens has hit about five threes. Number 20 hit one, I'm talking about in the last few trips down the floor. As a matter of fact, probably the last five trips. Number 20 hit one, 22. Five hit one. Darby with the ball, back to Allie Kennedy. 59 seconds. Humphreys had the ball almost stolen away, and uh, the Tigers going to get it back, but it's going to be a jump. And the arrow pointing toward the Red Bay Tigers. 47 to 41. Substitutions coming in for Athens with 53 seconds to go. We we'll appreciate uh, Bay Tree Gift Company. I told you about that. What about uh, Bay Diesel? Chris and Valerie Marr, along with Red Bay Carpets, Money Gray at Davis Realty. Tigers turn it over, stealing it down in the corner. He got tipped, and Athens got it, 47 to 41. Athens, Alabama, the Eagles will hold on. Looked like they might want to go for the last shot in this third quarter. They're in 6A, area 16. 6A against uh, one of the smallest 2A schools doesn't seem fair, but the Tigers are definitely holding their own here today. 47 to 41, Reagan Kirkendall down there. Looks like she's getting ready to check in. She's not going to get a chance to the fourth quarter. 47 to 41, 47 to 41. They'll drive it toward the basket, put it up no good. They get a rebound. They put it back up good and a foul. They're going to get Darby Madden with a foul. With six seconds to go, that basket will count. And the foul will be against Darby Madden. That's uh, Darby's first foul of the game. Only the third team foul. Jordan McKinney will check out. Reagan Kirkendall will check in. We're down 
by eight points with six seconds to go in the third quarter. Appreciate you listening to our game today. Live at the Keith Davis Memorial Tournament in Rogersville, Alabama. That free throw is good by Woods. And Red Bay's got six seconds to take it in and get it down and score. 50 to 41. Tigers got it to Kennedy. Kennedy takes it all the way in. A little running shot. It's up. No good. Got her own rebound. Well, actually, Kirkendall got the rebound. Tried to put it up. And the clock ran out to end the quarter. And Red Bay, who had a 29-25 lead at halftime, now trail 50 to 41. It's a nine-point lead. And if you're out there joining us on the broadcast, once again, it's an honor to have you here on the broadcast today. Brought to you by the Red Bay Carpets. Also, I told you about Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. Her number 256-460-8064. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home, make sure you let Miss Bunny Gray help you with that. 256-460-8064. Also, Miller's Affordable Furniture. That's Terry and Jason Miller next to the Frosty Inn. Of course, they got Red Bay Covered, of course, on your delivery there. Living rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, recliners, dining room. Also, Predator Pest Control, a big sponsor of the game today. Mr. Eddie Deaton ready to go. And let's see. Uh, let's see who else is checking in. Old Brad Bolton said he needed to go live. He's listening to us. I don't know where he's listening to us at. He's listening to us at WRMGradio.com. And... Uh, Hope you're enjoying the broadcast here today on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Athens will get the ball to start the fourth quarter. They have got a nine-point lead. Tigers going to turn that defense up a little bit. Athens back out, driving in the lane, and I believe she walks. Give it to the Red Bay Tigers. I think somebody left the barn door open. Boy, some cold air coming in from somewhere. I may have to go to the car and get a jacket. Red Bay with Humphreys driving all the way in. The ball knocked out of bounds. Red Bay will have it underneath their own basket. Fifty to forty-one Athens, and the Tigers take it into Kennedy. Kennedy drives in, goes to Reagan. Reagan on the baseline, back to Darby. Darby turns, spins. It's going to be up and good. Got some of the front of the rim and had enough. A little spin on it to get that ball to go up and go in. And here's Athens quickly down the floor. And Athens puts the shot up. No good. Red Bay with a rebound. Good job, Carly Offers. Give Darby Madden her 14th point of the ball game. 50 to 43. We need a basket. Red Bay goes to Darby. Darby drives in the lane. Spins back. Falls. And are they going to get a foul or what? They're going to get a walk. Fifty to forty-three with seven oh two to go. Darby fell backwards in there and went down, and they called a walk on her. Athens with the ball on the left side, penetrating in the lane. Number five, her shot up good. Young lady there is Jacayla Bridgeforth. Jacayla's had a good game today. Red Bay down to Humphreys. Humphreys drive, stops, puts it up, has it blocked. And here comes Athens back with a nine-point lead. Fifty-two forty-three Athens. Down to the baseline, 12, driving in. Tigers get a block. Athens will control it. And they'll reset it up with 6.27 to go. Red Bay Tiger basketball here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company live at the Keith Davis Memorial. Athens driving it in the lane, no good. Woods with a rebound and a putback up good. Alexis Wood is her big girl inside. She puts Athens up by 11, 54 to 43, and we got a whistle and a timeout by Coach Donnie Roberts. Coach scratching that head a little bit down there this time. This time a little bit more serious timeout. We're down by 11 points with 6.04 to go. Today's game brought to you by Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry. <coughs> Since uh, 1993, you got Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Candace, of course. Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse, along with Kim Lindsay. Those all your vinyl screen printing and monograms. Triple D's Bucket Service. That great tasting Carl Lewis sausage available at Swamp John's by Engel Farms. Also Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale. 
by the medical clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Fabianchi, next to the hospital. Also want to thank CJ's, Mr. Justin Boyles, the owner there, hunting and fishing license, and ethanol free gas. Got a grill open seven days a week, as early as uh, four in the morning. Also want to thank Belmont Pharmacy, Bill Donna Weatherford, and Pam Moore on the broadcast. The Cardinal Drive in on the Golden Road. Red Bay Gas and Water by Consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted LeMay by Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook. BJ's Hair Cessities. Also Tiffin Motorhomes. Community Spirit Bank on a broadcast. Your Edward Jones agent is Mike Jones. Also want to thank Fastway Car Wash, Deaton Funeral Home, along with the city of Red Bay, all on a broadcast. We're back after the Red Bay timeout. Darby Madden back out to Kennedy. Now back to Darby. Darby down the lane, hands off to Morgan. Morgan will dribble it back out. And the Tigers will reset at 5.48 to go. Tigers go to Morgan. Back to Reagan Kirkendall. Reagan on the left wing. Morgan into Darby. Darby on the elbow. About a 15-footer good. That was a big basket, Darby Madden. has got uh, 16 in the game. Here's Athens. We've got to make some stops on the defense. It's 54 to 45. Wood at three throw line turns around, missed it. Red Bay with a rebound. Now it's loose on the floor, and we're going to have a jump. And Red Bay will get the basketball. Red Bay with the basketball. Kirkendall loses control of it. Down on the floor. The ball stolen away by Athens. Here comes Athens with the ball to the left side. 5.02 to go. Red Bay Tiger basketball live on the Ivy Broadcasting Company today. We hope you enjoy our broadcast. Somebody mentioned old Macy Faulkner, you know, the manager on the team here. Of course, this will be here last year doing that. She'll be playing on this uh, high school team next year. <clears throat> and I know she's looking forward to moving up to the next level. She does a good job out on the court and helping manage these young ladies as well. 54 to 45, Red Bay with the basketball, 4.32 to go. Darby drives the ace line, puts it up good. Falls down, but uh, no foul there. And she gets her 18th point of the ball game. Kennedy's got a steal, steal, and the basket is up and good, and she's fouled. So we get four quick points in a row and uh, make it five, hopefully, here. 54 to 49, and that foul by number 22, and we got a timeout. It looks like by Athens. 54 to 49 is going to be the score. The Tigers are going to go to the line. Kennedy. Uh, got that basket. Let's see. We'll put her basket down here. And she'll be going to the free throw line when we come back after the timeout. Kennedy unofficial has got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 points in the ball game. 54 to 49. Just when you thought, well, this could be a little iffy if we're going to pull this one out. Uh, the Tigers get a big basket and uh, get a big steal. Once again, we hope you're enjoying the broadcast here. And if you are and have not sent us a message, we'd love to hear from you. 662 423 7602. 662 423 7602. 662 423 7602. Send us a message and let us know if you're enjoying our game. Back at home. <clears throat> Turn it up loud. We got the Red Bay Tigers down the stretch, trailing by five at the free throw line with 421 to go. Don't forget, we'll be back at 6 with the Belmont and Loretta, Tennessee game. And there's the free throw by Kennedy up and good. Here's Athens driving all the way down. Nobody picks her up. The little guard, number three, took it right by everybody and put it up good. 56 to 50. Red Bay with the ball down to Reagan Kirkenall. Reagan to Darby. Darby at the free throw line. Shoots and it's in and out no good. Rebound, scramble for it, and coming out of there with it, it's Athens. Athens down the floor. They drive it all the way in, put it up no good. Darby with a rebound, and she's fouled. 
Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We we'll appreciate you being with us here today. Red Bay will bring it down. 16 fouls against Athens, only three against the Tigers. Three minutes and 44 seconds to go. Reagan Kirkenall drives it in. Her shot blocked. And the ball picked up by Humphreys. Her shot is blocked. Now Athens and the Tigers after it. And it's going to go to. They're going to say it's going to go to the Red Bay Tigers. Athens said it was theirs. And the official says, no, it's the Red Bay Tigers. Now we got a timeout. 56 to 50 the score. Three minutes and 31 seconds to go. Just heard from the world famous Kelly Moore. Says, come on, Tigers. And I'm not sure where, where Kelly and them might be listening to the game tonight. They could be anywhere, but they're, if the Tigers are on, they're listening to the game. We appreciate you, Kelly. Appreciate big star of Red Bay, Hal Keaton and the staff, 356-2521, along with the city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council, along with Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York dealer, by Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. Also, Med Express of Red Bay, Dr. William Bush, and also nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys, 356-8907. Tigers are in. Morgan Pierce will shoot a three in the corner. It's up no good. Rebound in the corner, going to get out of bounds, and it's going to Athens. So Athens will bring it down. We're at the 313 mark. Athens with a six point lead, and we're going to have a reach in foul by the Tigers. The question is, will it go to Reagan Kirkendall or will it go to Carly Humphreys? They're going to give it to Reagan Kirkendall. Only the fourth team foul. We may need to do some quick foul in a hurry so we, you know, we got into that situation against Newside over there and didn't have no time. Athens shoots one in the corner. They help us out and we get a rebound. They missed it. They probably rushed that shot too much with a six point lead. 56 to 50, and the Red Bay Tigers almost turn it over. Now Athens is going to commit a foul, and Red Bay is going to go to the line with Allie Kennedy is going to be shooting. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Remember, we cannot take your call, but. Uh, but you can send us a text to let us know you're listening. The reason being, we're using our phone to actually send the broadcast back on. So if you tried to call a little bit ago and somebody did, uh, make sure you send us a message and let us know. Kennedy's first free throw is up and good. She'll have another one coming. It's up in the air right now. It's up and it's no good. Hit the front of the rim. So we got a five point deficit as Athens leads by five points. Two minutes and 39 seconds to go. We've only given up four fouls. We need to couple, get a couple of fouls whenever we're ready to put them on the line. They let them drive all the way in, and that little girl got her another layup. Nobody picked her up. This kind of waved at her as she went by. And uh, like, hey, how you doing? I'm heading to a layup. Okay. Tigers down to Darby Madden. Darby puts it up no good. Rebound goes to Athens. Athens has got a seven-point lead, 58-51. <clears throat> number three. Now in the middle to Woods. Woods backside picked up by number five. She's in the lane. Her little hook shot is up no good. Woods, their big girl's got it. Put it back up no good, and she's fouled. And the Tigers will send her to the line. That'll be the fifth team foul against Red Bay. We're down seven points with a minute 56 to go. And that foul is against Darby Madden, her second foul. Woods free throw is up in the air. It's good.
She got about 10 points in the ball game today, 59 to 51. Just under two minutes to go. Next free throw is up, it's good. Now we got a 30 second timeout, 30 second timeout. So a 30 second timeout with a minute 56 to go. The Red Bay Tigers right now in a little trouble down by nine points to 6A Athens. And don't forget, uh, we'll let you watch this game later tonight on TV 12. And we'll also, of course, uh, have the Belmont game on a little bit later tonight. Six Belmont taking on Loretta, Tennessee. And uh, I was gonna try to pull up the uh, bracket if I can. I don't have it printed out in front of you, but I got access to it right here if this internet was a little bit uh, quicker, but it's not <coughs> not too good here today at all. Red Bay will bring it down after the timeout with a minute and 51 seconds to go. Kennedy drives it in the lane, puts it up good. Good job by Kennedy to make it a 60 to 53 ball game. Five team fouls against Red Bay, so we've got to commit a couple of fouls before we can put them on the line. Athens got some little quick guards in there, got a big girl inside that they move it out in the corner. They got a lot of little quick guards out there right now. One of them being number 320. 24, we got basically four guards out there. Number 12, all speedsters. Japera Harris with the ball down in the corner. Back out with a minute 14 to go. We got to do some fouling here in a hurry. Their big girl drives it in the lane, pulls up with a shot, good. Woods, 62-53. Red Bay Tiger basketball right here. Gonna go to that loser's bracket if we can't win this. And then there's a Morgan Pierce three-pointer. Well, we got to get Morgan shooting the ball more. 62 to 56, and we commit a foul. That's only the sixth team foul. It's not a one and one. So one more, we can put them on the line. It's down to 48 seconds. So they're going to take it in again. 62 to 56. That was a big three right there by the Red Bay Tigers. And now we've committed another foul. That was Kennedy got her third foul. on the previous one. And Kennedy foul then, that's her fourth one. And the free throw is up by Athens, is up and good. That makes it tough when they keep making them free throws, and uh, Japera Harris makes it 63-56, 46 seconds to go. Next free throw is up. It is good. We got to do is whatever we can to extend this game. Tigers will bring it down. Kennedy pulls up a shot. Good. Good job by Kennedy. It's only a two. We can't swap baskets. We got to make a stop. We commit a foul and. Got to hope that they miss some of these free throws, and they're going to go to the line right now, shooting one and one. And going to the line is going to be number three. Her name is Tyona Moore. And the free throw is up. It is no good. Red Bay with the rebound. And Coach Donnie Roberts gets a quick timeout. 30 second timeout or a full, full timeout, full timeout. So Red Bay's gonna get a full timeout. 64 58 the score. Appreciate you, Denise and Murray Mar at Dixie Diesel, along with JC Weeks at Redmond Pharmacy. Swamp John's on a broadcast today, along with Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic by CBNS Bank. Miss Mary Ellen Allen and the staff, along with Sunshine Neil Mills. Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member. Also, the Red Bay Hospital, Mr. Glenn Jones and his crew. Also, want to thank Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore, the Banner Tire Store, along with the Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, by Gary Armstrong, it does all you doze your backhoe work, by Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. Also, want to thank Dr. Ralph Nix, Family Dentistry, behind the post office, the Mason Jar on Main. Don't forget to check them out for breakfast. 
lunch and dinner. They got your special hours for you. They're closed on uh, Saturday, of course. Don't forget to open after church on Sunday, of course. Dr. Jim Neighbors just now for nurse practitioner Carolyn Wilson, Franklin Electric, H&R Block of Red Bay Iuka Fulton, Cash and Thermal Plastics by Grace Long Real Estate, by Pigla Wiggly, and also Dickie Sparks CPA and Mr. Runny Cook at your modern Woodman agent. Red Bay with a basketball. Morgan Pierce. Morgan into Darby. Darby is, well, we got an injured player down in the corner. They stopped it. Morgan Pierce, I'm not sure what happened to Morgan. Morgan just nailed down. I don't know where she got poked or something down there. They had somebody going down there to take care of her. And she's Morgan got poked in the eye. She'll have to leave, but she goes strictly to back down to the scores table. She's going to try to come right back in. So she got punched in the eye. Red Bay will take it in. Kennedy open for a three in the corner. We need it. It's no good. Rebound. We're fouled, and we're going to go to the line to shoot. And Reagan Kirkendall will shoot with 19 seconds to go. We're down by 6, 64, 58. Apologize this old coal we got here, but uh, we're trying to make it through this game. And, and the free throw is up on the one and one, but Reagan Kirkendall is no good, and Tigers quickly foul with 17 seconds to go. Had a chance if we could have made those free throws to cut it down to four, but uh, that free throw wouldn't go for Reagan there on the one and one. Reagan had made four in a row. And they're going to send number five to the line. Ja'Kayla Bridgeport, and Ja'Kayla's free throw is up and good. Ja'Kayla's had a good game today. She got uh, two, four, six, nine, 10, 11, 12 in the game, make it 13. 17 seconds to go. We're down 66 to 58, 66 to 58. Red Bay Tigers, long three. Darby Madden, it's going to be short. Darby gets a rebound, tries to put it up its block. Tip back out. Darby's got it with three seconds to go to Humphreys, and that's going to be it. Athens is going to defeat the Red Bay Tigers, 66-58. to Tigers held tough with a 6A ball club, but come up short today, 66-58. to 66-58 to is your final score. Uh, the Red Bay Tigers losing to Athens, so the Tigers will move to the loser's bracket. We'll let you know where that's going to be online in a little bit. We'll let you know when the Tigers play tomorrow. We don't have that right in front of us, and I couldn't call it up on my phone because it wouldn't let me because we had not got uh, much data in here right now. But And, uh, of course, we'll, uh, we'll give that to you. I'll load it on my Facebook page in a little bit and let you know when the Tigers play again. Appreciate all these sponsors, of course, that made this game possible here tonight. Remember, we couldn't do without you. I want to give you that number to Ronnie Cook at Modern Woodman. 662-423-8477. And also to Dickey Spark CPA, that number six two five six three five six ninety three seventy five, And also the number for the Mason Jar in Red Bay, 256-356-2200. Those are our sponsors, of course, that made this game possible today. Red Bay, once again, losing to Athens. Once again, your final score was 66-58. Once again, your final score for this game, it's Athens 66 and the Red Bay Tigers 58. For Denise Abacca Control Center, Randall Lindsay, I'm Jack Ivey, and thank you for joining us for Red Bay Tiger Basketball here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company.